Hello viewers, welcome to another project demo by Project Maker. In this video, I will be demonstrating my new Python project which is laptop price predictor that I have created using Streamlit. Streamlit is a Python package that allows developer to host their application without having no knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first. So now let's move to the project demo of my laptop price predictor. So I will just switch the tab and this is my project which is titled as laptop price predictor. I have created this project using Streamlit or you can say hosted this project. It has various user input fields such as brand, type, RAM, weight and many more as you can see because while buying a laptop we usually focus on all these things and let's talk about the Streamlit. Streamlit is a python package which helps developers to host their application on internet without having no knowledge of front-end development which means I have not at all used HTML, CSS or JavaScript to create user interface of this application. You won't believe I have created this user interface and connected it to my model using only 60 lines of code that I will show you later. So now let's talk about the feature of this project. As you can see I have created a beautiful title. The brand as you can see there are almost all brand present of laptops. So let's select one let's say Apple and the type of that Apple will be ultrabook, notebook, netbook, gaming and so on. So let's select one of them. Then the RAM then the RAM is basically up to 64 GB as you can see so let's say 8 GB RAM the weight of laptop normally the weight of laptop is in kilogram so directly let's write kilogram let's say 2.45 kgs and just hit enter to apply the next is touch screen feature so whether we want to buy a laptop which has the screen feature or not so let's say yes so the next feature is IPS so IPS is basically related to the display of laptop so if you want best display we should choose it so let's choose it after that the screen size so screen size of any laptop is in inches so I will just type 15.1 inch and the resolutions are as you can see so let's select one of them resolution which is 16 into 9 it will be small so let's make it bigger this much the next is CPU for the laptop so I will just select i7 from all these options the next is hard disk or HDD so let's make it uh, 1 TB and the SSD let's make it let's make it uh, 120 GB the GPU so GPU let's make it of Intel only as it is famous and the operating system will be of course Mac because we have selected the brand as Apple and let's just hit on this predict button so as you can see the predicted price is around 66,000 which is correct for Apple brand so now let's make some basic brand so let's say Lenovo uh, netbook RAM let's make it 4 GB weight is ok So after the touch screen, no, IPS, no, so these are all the basic integrations for laptop. Screen size, let's make it 17.09. The resolution, let's make it a bit smaller, which is 1920. Then the processor, let's make it i3 and hard disk, make it 50 and SSD, let's make it zero only and the processors keep it intel and the operating system will be windows so as you can see we can get this laptop at price of 31,477 rupees only which is correct because we have selected all the basic configurations only so this was all about my project demo now let's move to the next section where i will tell you how i created this amazing project so now let's move to the destination folder as you can see I have opened my destination folder and there are a lot of files available. Don't worry you will get all the necessary files in the description of the video. So now let's talk about the files. So first are these three files are of no use. So the first file is data.pkl and this is 5.pkl. 
so for making this project i will require these two pkl files the next is laptop price predictor which is jupyter file i will show it in jupyter now so for that i will just open command prompt in this window and just type jupyter notebook which is traditional way to open jupyter notebook in this folder so as you can see the folder is open now let's click on this file so this is a basic code that I have written here. I imported this excel file which is this file. After that this is the view of our data. It has 1300 rows and 12 columns. This is basic information, duplicate values, is null values and these were all the problems that I have encountered while creating the model as you can see. So I have just performed data cleaning at the first stage of this project and just shown few visualizations as you can see after performing this data cleaning operation i have tried almost every model to make this project most accurate so i will just show you that models that i have tried so firstly i have tried linear regression model which is this one so after making a linear regression model my accuracy was 87 which is not much then I tried rigid regression, the accuracy was 86, which is less. KNN model, the accuracy of the accuracy of that model was 82%, which is less. Decision tree model, the accuracy of that model is just 84. Then I have also tried SVA model. The accuracy of this model is 79%, which is too low. After that, I have tried random forest classifier. So as you can see, the accuracy of this model is 91%. Till now this classifier has highest accuracy as you can see. After that I have tried extra tree model, the accuracy of this model is 90%. Then after that I have tried other boost models, the accuracy of this model is 79% which is low. After that the gradient boost model, the accuracy is 90%, then XG boost which is 90% accuracy. Then the voting regressor model which has 91% accuracy. So after trying all these models, my highest accuracy was given by random forest classifier which is this one as you can see which is 91% accuracy so i finalized this model and just created model using random forest classifier and just created these two pkl files that you have seen already after that i just created a user interface using streamlit so to show the user interface i will just open this folder in code which is vs code so as you can see the folder is open and the total length of code is only about 70 lines as you can see so in 70 lines i have created user interface as well as connected my model to streamlit so this is the magic of streamlit so these are the basic imports streamlit then the I have set title using this command. When the user hits predict price button, all the selected inputs by user will directly send to the model, and the processing of that model will be done at backend. And the final answer will be stored in query, as you can see. After that, the output will be displayed using this single line of command. So this was all about my simple project that I have created using Streamlit. And if you see there is also a github link present here so i just click on it and just select my laptop price predictor project then this is my entire project that i just show you on my local storage so let's move back to project here comes the end of this video hope you like this new project uh, if you want the source code it is already available here you can just go there and download the project and if you face any queries while making your project you can just message me on instagram or in comment section below thanks for watching this video